Hi, everyone. This video will present our work in SIGGRAPH Asia 2023, IM4D. IM4D is a novel view synthesis method for dynamic scenes that delivers high fidelity and real-time rendering. Let me first explain what is dynamic view synthesis. The objective of dynamic view synthesis is to present new perspectives of real-world dynamic scenes given input videos. This technology has widespread applications in fields such as film and game production, immersive remote communication, among others. Here, we demonstrate a specific example. Using the dynamic view synthesis technology, we can immerse ourselves in watching the video. Another example is for some sports events, where we can generate videos with extremely cool free viewpoint trajectories. Next, let's review previous techniques for this problem. Recently, implicit scene representations, like NERF, have achieved great success in synthesizing new viewpoints for static scenes. This has introduced many new possibilities for dynamic view synthesis. K-Planes extends NERF to dynamic scenes and proposes using K-Grid feature planes to model dynamic scenes, attaining realistic rendering results on scenes with minor motion, like the die nerf dataset. However, as the scene complexity surges, for instance, in human motion scenes with larger and more complex movements, K-Planes struggles to capture the intricate appearance details of these dynamic scenes, as illustrated in the videos. Another category of methods, such as eNERF and IBRNet, employ multi-view image-based rendering methods. They start with adjacent viewpoint images of the rendering viewpoint each time, inferring the geometry and appearance of the rendering viewpoint. These methods typically render clear details, but, since they reconstruct for each view rather than globally, they cannot ensure rendering consistency between different viewpoints. This is manifested in some floating-like artifacts at the edges, as shown in video. As mentioned above, although previous grid-based methods offer consistent rendering, they fall short in capturing intricate appearance details of complex dynamic scenes. In this realm, multi-view image-based rendering methods exhibit opposing characteristics. To combine the strengths of both approaches, we introduce IM4D, a hybrid scene representation that includes a grid-based geometric representation and a multi-view image-based appearance representation. Here we showcase the high-fidelity rendering results achieved by our method. As can be seen in the video, our approach delivers high-quality and multi-view consistent rendering. Specifically, we represent the geometry as continuous function f sigma which takes x, y, z, t as input. In practice, we implement f sigma as a multilayer perceptron m sigma with six feature grid planes. To render images from a new spacetime viewpoint, we first select several nearby input images at that moment and use a 2D convolutional neural network to extract their features. Then, we map 3D points to these views and use bilinear sampling to sample features from the feature maps. Finally, we employ a small multilayer perceptron to predict the color of this point. Finally, given density and color fields, we use volume rendering to render an image. IM4D is trained with only RGB supervision with some regularization terms. Here we show our rendering results on the eNERF Outdoor and DiNERF datasets. Here are more rendering results on the DNA rendering datasets. Finally, we present our rendering results on the NHR and ZJU mocap datasets.
Firstly, we present comparisons with eNERF. eNERF is a multi-view image-based rendering method. IBRNet is another multi-view image-based rendering method. K-Plane struggles to capture appearance details. Thanks for watching.